Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Spot. So I recently had a question. Someone was asking how to turn an iPad or an iPhone into a CCTV. Now, of course you can turn one of these devices into kind of a modified digital magnifier where you can use the camera to look at an object and you can zoom in or uh, sometimes even take a picture of the object and then zoom in that way. But I think this person was asking more of a traditional desktop CCTV where you had a camera pointing down at a document and it was showing on a monitor. So I thought, ah, that's a great challenge. Let's see how we can do that using an iPad. Uh, of course, this will be the same for an iPhone. Now this individual also added that they needed it to work on a Windows computer, not a Mac. So that makes it a little bit more difficult, but I've got some ideas and in fact, I came up with something. So this is a video of what I came up with. So the third party program that I use to connect my iPad is called Air Server. It's a pretty inexpensive program. I think it was about $15, but you can use it to connect Apple products uh, as well as cast anything that you would to a Chromecast, Netflix and YouTube and things like that. And it works really, really well. Now to create the CCTV, I just needed something tall. So I just used my daughter's Lego container it was about the right height that I wanted. Now, in order to keep my iPad from falling off because it had to hang over the side, I just needed something heavy. So I just grabbed a bag of dried beans that I had in my pantry. First, I just tested out using the camera. Pinch to zoom. It worked really well, actually. Um, it kept trying to find focus and that was a little bit annoying. Kept going, getting blurry and then focus, but it would eventually it would find focus and it would stay there and it worked pretty well. Then I wanted to try the actual magnification app. It actually didn't work as well as the camera. <laughs> I couldn't get it to mirror on the screen the right way. So I actually had to turn the iPad sideways and then flip the book upside down and do all my motions backwards. In my opinion, the camera just worked better all around. Now, of course, if you were using a Mac or an Apple TV, the setup would be exactly the same, only you would connect through that, through the Apple TV, uh, through the Mac computer. Uh, those devices do it automatically, so you wouldn't need any third-party software. Well, there you go, guys. So I don't know how practical this setup would actually be, but it's nice to know that if you had to do it, you could indeed use an iPad or an iPhone as a desktop CCTV. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you have any more questions, leave them down below. I'll do my best to help out. If you like the video, please hit that like button. And if you want to stay up to date with the videos coming out in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe. Thanks again for watching, guys. This is Sam with The Blind Spot. I'll see you next time.